DC is launching their DC Universe streaming service. Yay, but uh what does that include? So it includes um is that gonna include like four K capabilities or is it just gonna be regular H D? Uh, I wonder how much it's going to cost a month. I like that there's comics, TV series, animation, and movies. All in one place. Uh, they're going to compete with Netflix. I don't know if they're going to compete with Netflix. They're just going to do their own thing. Obviously. Um, I don't think the CW shows will be on it. Which is fine. Because you know, they're on their way out anyways. Most of the CW shows are like they're on season 4, season 5, season 6. Like, come on, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Um, but yeah, dude, like, DC Universe app. Let's go, bro. Let's go. I like Titans, dude. The new, no, the new photos of Robin are fucking lit. Like, wow, dude's fucking Robin, bro. He's Robin. That's Robin. I'm kind of salty. It's not in the DC Cinematic Universe. Uh, I want to see this Robin next to Ben Affleck's Batman. But, you know, that's just me. Uh, lit. That's It's lit. We got the uh, Young Justice Outsiders images. They also put out an image of the cast. Um, season 3, can't believe Young Justice even got saved to begin with. Good shit. Uh, all of the animated series, Batman the animated series, is probably going to be on this streaming service. But, you know, that shit's already on Amazon Prime. So, like, are they going to take it off Prime? Who knows? Um, yeah, dude. DC Universe. I'm hyped for it. Hopefully, it's not, like, 15 bucks a month. Hopefully, it's not even 10 bucks a month. I'm hoping it's, like, 5, 8 bucks a month. It's probably going to be, like, 10, 12 bucks a month. But whatever. Whatever. What do you guys think of this DC Universe app slash, slash uh, streaming service? Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe.